65 days a year, most everybody in Richland Village, Michigan, gathers at the Parkview to talk about the burning issues of the day. These days, there is only one. I think everybody's in too much shock to explain it. It is a new seatbelt ordinance. If the town council gets its way, seatbelts will be mandatory for everybody riding in the front seat of a car through Richland. I'll have to detour the town to get to Kalamazoo. If they pass a seatbelt ordinance, I don't use a seatbelt. I wouldn't wear my seatbelt. If I get caught, I get caught, I guess. The Richland Village Council meets one night each month, and hardly anyone but the council ever attends these meetings which may be why so many people were so shocked when they read in a local paper that the council had unanimously requested an ordinance the community is almost unanimously opposed to. For such a small town, one mile square, 435 people, Richland gets lots of traffic, though nobody can remember the last time there was a serious accident. But if everybody has to buckle up or pay a $10 fine, businessmen say they'll stop and shop and get their hair cut somewhere else. Customers agree. You maybe stop there, don't put your seatbelt on, and you move a little bit further up. I stop here by him, then I move around the corner quick to go to the hardware store, and I don't have the seatbelt on. All of a sudden, somebody sees me, says, that cost you $10. Why bother? I think many of them are mad enough about it so that they're not going to run the risk of a ticket. Meanwhile, the town council is standing by its guns. People think that they're going to be harassed, and, and this is not our intent at all. Their intent, they say, is to save lives and set a good example. There's an election here in March. By then, the town's two police officers will likely be enforcing a new seatbelt ordinance. After then, there might be a new city... I oppose it on the basis that it replaces the free will of the individual with the desires of the state. You can't, you can't force people to do things, you know. If they think that it's necessary, they do it. If they don't think so... The question here is whether we have the right, whether we have the responsibility, whether we have the judgment to turn to the citizens of the state and be there in 1984, Big Brother.